This is a story about submarines and a former French intelligence officer who says his venture to build personal underwater vehicles nearly cost him his life. Meet Hervé Jobert, a naval engineer by education and a covert ops technical expert. His idea was to build underwater craft that might appeal to the very wealthy or those who just wanted an undersea adventure without wearing a wetsuit. The bulk of the market is with the charter. You know, people who would take a ride once or two times or three times in their lifetime and they, they will enjoy it and they will remember it. Jobert made a deal with Dubai World, an international conglomerate, to build the subs in the Persian Gulf. But after a year, what he says was a business dispute turned sinister. And they took my passport. They, they confiscated my passport. From there, you become, you become a nobody. Jobert says he got his family out of the country, then decided to rely on his intelligence skills to escape. The first thing I did was to disappear. Uh, so uh, I was in a hotel, and then the next day uh, I ceased to exist as Hervé Jobert. To elude authorities, he claims he donned frogman gear and disabled the Dubai patrol boat, hiding under women's clothing. Then, the next day, he took out a motorized raft to a sailboat waiting in international waters. Walking, to the, walking down the lobby of a hotel with the combat uh, frogman gear under my abaya, that, that was fabulous. From there, Jobert sailed to India, where he posed as a sailor who had lost his travel papers, eventually making his way back home to Florida. Now, both Jobert and his former employer are suing each other. Dubai World says Jobert's subs didn't work and that Jobert owes them one million. The company declined to appear on camera, but it did offer written answers to questions. The company's general counsel said, we simply want to recover stolen money and expose Mr. Jobert's claims as fiction. Jobert says he welcomes his day in court. His submarine days are over, at least for now. Tony Winton, The Associated Press, Miami.